webinar today, so we're just going to wait for the, everybody just to drop in. Um, Claire's entertaining us in the meantime. She's going to do a little little dance later. <laughs> oh, I can't do Latin. Sorry, I can't do anything. But Latin, definitely not. <laughs> um, see, <laughs> comments about your hat, Claire. I told you. <laughs> Sarah, are you taking questions again in the chat or not? Yes, we do questions right at the very, very end. Okay, so it looks like we are good. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you for joining us on this week's Caribbean Corner. Um, we've got some fantastic prizes from these fantastic faces sat in front of you now. Um, so we've got Luke. Uh, Luke, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us what your prize is? Yes, hello everybody. My name's Luke, uh, BDM for Planet Hollywood, and today my prize is four nights, all inclusive, for two people staying at the Planet Hollywood Hotel. In um, and Luke's prize is UK centric, um, so it is just coming out of the UK budget, so it's just for the UK and Ireland trade. Um, Claire, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us what your prize is? <laughs> yes, I'm the idiot in the hat <coughs> with, a, with a pin head. Well, at least I didn't need to wash my hair, did I? <laughs> um, our prize today from Palace Resorts is a five night all inclusive stay for two at the superb Grand at Moon Palace in Cancun. Amazing. And that's for UK and Ireland as well. UK and Ireland. Thank you very much, Claire. And last but not least, with your gorgeous backdrop, Comrade, who are you and what's your prize? Hey, good afternoon and good morning from the Caribbean. Um, I'm here from Kalabashkov in St. Lucia. Um, my price is five nights with breakfast in a water's edge cottage with pool and it's available for anybody anywhere in uh, the UK and North America. Perfect. Super duper. So you've got some amazing prizes. So you've got to be on the webinar right until the very, very end. Um, and we've just got a quick poll that I want to do um, at the moment, because I know we do sometimes a spin to win. Sometimes we do the fastest finger first. Um, so my poll is today um, is how would you prefer that we do the prizes? Would you prefer the fastest finger first? This is where you, you put the correct answer into chat. Spin the wheel, which is just anybody that's on the webinar or the fastest finger first, where the top 20 correct answers get put in the spin to win. Of course, the two bottom ones won't be live, so we'll have to do that tomorrow. But the fastest finger first will be the one on the call. Dum, dum, dum. We'll zoom away. Okay, I think it's unanimous. I think we're doing the spin to win, uh, the spin the wheel. Um, so this will be tomorrow that will be, it'll be announced on Facebook because I can't do it on the call because we don't get a full list of all of the agents on. So what I'll do is tomorrow um, at 12 o'clock UK time on the My Booking Rewards Facebook page. I'll also share it on the North America page that we've got. Hi, Julie from Alabama. Um, so we'll share that tomorrow as well um, on both pages with, with the winners and then the host will contact you. So thank you for that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start. So, the lady with the hat. The le oh no, here comes the technical bit. Uh, we don't really like uh, Exactly. <laughs> How much pressure when you're live with this technology? You know? <laughs> well, the screen's all yours. Mind you, I think the hat takes over most of the screen, but anyway. <laughs> I don't like looking at myself. I prefer to look at... Okay, let's see if I... Oh, hang on. Share screen. Yeah. See? Why isn't that working? And uh, do, 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 do. It's working. That's it's working. Yeah, Am I, I there? Good. Yeah. They can. They can't see me anymore. <laughs> so hello, everybody. Um, some of you might have already presented to, but it's lovely to have so many of you online. Um, we were hoping to have somebody live from. The Grand at Moon Palace, um, but unfortunately, it's too early for them in Mexico. So I'm, you're stuck with me in my hat. So let's get cracking. First things first, most importantly, for you lovely agents, we have um, a fantastic 
incentive program called Pro Agents, which rewards you with $70 loaded onto a debit card. I have those cards in my office here with the, and I send them out to you with the PIN number in the UK and Ireland. So please do register and um, let me know if you want me to send you a card. We also give you nights so that you can experience our fantastic results for yourself. And we have new levels within this program now so that the more benefits uh, you receive more and more benefits um, the more room nights you book with Palace Resorts and that does include air credit to help you get to us in Mexico and Jamaica. One of the other programs that we have is free kids and teens so um, kids and teens under 18 can stay in their parents room for absolutely nada and that's valid for all of next year. We pride ourselves on fantastic service and quality of food and beverage. And I think that's the feedback that we get from the industry and our customers that have stayed with us. We have premium brand drinks throughout, unlimited a la carte dining. So no reservations required apart from a few um, special restaurants at um, the Grand. And we have 24 hour room service. So these um, spirits are not only in the bars, you also have a drinks cabinet in all the bedrooms. And we also have fantastic hair products and, um, and bath amenities, including hair straighteners in every single bathroom. So the Grand, which um, was newly renovated and opened a few years ago now, um, and zoomed to the top spot on TripAdvisor, in fact, it tends to um, fight with our, our other luxury product, LeBlanc Spa Resort in Cancun for the number one spot, which is rather nice. Only 10 minutes from the airport, um, over a thousand rooms, um, but it's very low rise as I'll show you. And good news for those customers worried about the Sargassum seaweed, our owners have built a barrier which encloses the whole beach of not only the Grand, but Moon Palace, which is right next door, as you may know. Um, this is a map of the whole resort. So you have Moo Palace, the uh, two sections in the middle and the left, and then the Grand is on the far right. Set in 123 acres, and as I said before, very low rise. So it's um, extremely spread out over the 123 acres, and there are lush gardens and water features all around. So here is the, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but you can see there's a sort of blue line out to sea. That is this new seaweed barrier. And you might have heard there was a hurricane recently um, in Cancun. Was it only last week? I think it was only last week. Um, um, it, luckily, it got downgraded, so the, the damage was pretty minimal and the floating barrier is still in place. Um, so you can happily recommend our properties, the Grand and Moon Palace there, for those worried about the seaweed. In fact, this year, um, it's, there must be something in, in the climate uh, change story because in fact, the Sargassum hasn't appeared at all during the season, which is a good thing. Non-motorized water sports are included, which includes paddle boards and sailing dinghies, as you can see there. The great thing about the Grand um, is the plethora of um, facilities and it tends to be one of those resorts that people do return to hopefully your customers that have stayed there want to go back but certainly one of my colleagues went with her eight-year-old daughter and all she ever talks about is going back to the grand there's something for every age group including nine pools um, they're all quite different this is the olympic pool there's an adults only unique day club as well. So this is pretty much party central day and night. One of the other pools at Carabena, you can see the swim up bar there, which of which there are quite a few. The wellness pool, which is the one that's nearest to the beach. So you've just got the sand dunes in front of you then directly onto the sea. And this is obviously a huge hit with the kids. We have a fabulous water park with slides, a lazy river, flow rider surf simulator, and a wave pool. In terms of the bedroom product, so those of you that are familiar with Moon Palace and maybe not with the Grand, 
The rooms at the Grand, so the entry room um, is the garden view. They are probably nearly double the size of the rooms at Moon Palace. So if you have families that are wanting to take advantage of the free kids and teens, there's certainly a lot of space there to, to host a family of four, for instance. You can see there, there's quite a, um, a large um, outside area with day bed as well. All the rooms have double jacuzzi, so don't let the kids near those with the bubble bath because it goes everywhere. And um, the only connecting bedroom we have, bedrooms we have, are the family deluxe suites. So you can accommodate up to six. So that could be one adult and five kids, or two adults, four kids, and the kids and teens stay free as well in those room categories. Um, the Connecting room has two double beds and lots of facilities for the children, fun in the sun, um, buck and spade and mini bathrobe and slippers and an Xbox. The next category up from garden view is actually swim up suites and these are they. So as I mentioned before, we are very, very proud of our, our food and beverage quality. Um, one of the product managers from a leading tour operator in the UK actually said to me, what sets the grand apart is the other hotels, restaurants are hotel restaurants and our restaurants is a like London restaurants, which is quite an accolade, I think. We're obviously not serving buffet um, at the moment during these COVID times, um, but we only had one buffet restaurant anyway, and this is the all day dining restaurant, which is now um, way to service. So there are 11 restaurants in total and 13 bars. This is one of my favorites, the Lebanese restaurant, and it really is beautiful. And the food is exemplary, just to make you hungry. Mind you, hopefully you've all had lunch, except not those in the States, I guess. Uh, Oriental. Italian steakhouse. This is one of the ones, um, and, and uh, the French restaurant as well, reservations are required for these ones. And on top of that, you could, um, guests staying at the Grand can also have access to all the facilities and restaurants at the adjacent in Palace. So that's 24 restaurants in total. So they can stay for an awfully long time and not go to the same restaurant twice. This is quite fun. We recently opened a speakeasy bar, which is hidden. It's in the lower level of the Grand. So there's the lobby and the, then the lower level lobby, lower level level. And um, this bar is hidden behind a bookcase. So that you walk through the bookcase and then you come into the speakeasy bar, which is based on prohib prohibition times. Fantastic spa with 62 treatment rooms. So hopefully it won't get full. And right in the middle of the water park is a playroom, which is free for ages four to 12, which includes bumper cars. That's actually the outside of the playroom. So it's quite appealing to the kids and the lazy river you can see there runs right around it. There's mini golf. There are loads of soft play and jungle adventures to be had. And there's also a teens lounge, which has more, um, electronic games and um, computer games and things like that. There's also a bowling alley. We have three Jack Nicklaus signature golf courses and there are two other courses um, for really keen golfers that can be used if they, if your clients want to have unlimited golf, if they're really keen, there's a, a supplement to be paid and then they can use the other courses as well and of course a nightclub too. So that's a, um, for in these days of um, safety and security, they don't need to go down to Coco Bongos, at least they've got, a, they've got a proper nightclub within the hotel. It's not a hotel disco, it's a proper club. And just to finish off with, I have, hopefully this will work, just a, um, a very, very short video that which gives you an aerial view of the Grand and the beach, just to make you really want to go on holiday. Um, so happy selling.
thank you very much everyone shall i stop sharing now please if you would thank you very much claire that was great we was all having a bit of a dance there great music um and great <laughs> um, great to hear as well about the seaweed um and just absolutely typical yeah. in 2020 that there's been on this year you know like you know what else can happen like what can we do so it's great at least to hear that so thank you very very much um if you can stop sharing Pleasure. your screen yes okay so now um, i'm going to hand over to um to luke who's going to tell us all about the new the hot new opening um is it 2020 i'll hand over to you and you can tell us more hello can you hear me yeah yeah perfect let me share my screen two seconds <laughs> Okay, can we see that okay? Yeah. Fantastic, okay. So thank you for uh, attending today. Um, very, very exciting news about Planet Hollywood Cancun. I only got this uh, presentation yesterday, so it is very, very hot off the shelves, this one. I know a lot of you have joined today to come and see this presentation because you're either selling it yourself um, quite a lot um, or you're going yourself. Um, we've had a few direct bookings uh, from agents going to this hotel as well. So I'm happy, excited to share this presentation with you all. Um, so it's Planet Hollywood Cancun. It's in the resort of Costa Mujeres, which is roughly about 40 minutes away from Cancun Airport. Um, Costa Mujeres does translate uh, into Coast of Woman. So girl power there, whoever come up with that one. Um, so Planet Hollywood is a, a Blue Diamond Resorts brand. Um, so again, it just fall under with the Rotons and all the other products what Blue Diamond do offer. Um, but Planet Hollywood is a Blue Diamond Resort. Um, so first of all, most importantly, is the safety of the guests in resort. So we've come up with a steering wheel to guarantee safety assured, which is a guarantee safety uh, assured program. Um, so what we've done in resort is we've gone with the two meter six foot uh, ruling. So we've got one ways in, one ways out of restaurants around the actual resort itself. We've sent all our staff on training and awareness courses. Um, we've deep cleaned all the rooms, not necessarily with the Planet Hollywood because it's not open yet, but it will be ready obviously for our opening. So this is what we've come up with for our Safety Assure program steering wheel. Uh, if anybody wants this, please let me know. I can get this over to you, not a problem. So, lights, camera, action. Coming soon, Planet Hollywood, Cancun, opening on the 15th of December, 2020. This is the latest picture you will see of the property, which was last month. Um, as you can see, it's coming on really, really well. It's a big property but we've got a lot of facilities within the property to cover. So I'll get on with that. So fabulous beds. So these are our beds, what we've had handmade in Canada. At, uh, both of our Planet Hollywood properties, one in Costa Rica and Cancun will have the fabulous beds. They are the best beds you'll ever sleep in, I guarantee to you. We have the main event guarantee. So this is in our our sports bar, overtime sports bar. So any major sporting events, whether it's, whether it's US, whether it's UK, will be shown in the main event guarantee sports bar. Plugged in. So what we offer you is unlimited free Wi-Fi throughout the whole of the resort, even on the beach. So if you want to ring your colleagues just to, uh, just to, just to take the mick really, that you are there and say, we're having a great time, weather's great, uh, wish you was here sort of thing. Um, you can do that and you can do that from the beach if you wanted to do that. We also have your soundtrack. Okay, so what this means is that you will pick a music theme during your stay uh, and you can have that playing in your room. There is also an app as well you can download where you can have that music playing via the app if you're around the pool and you listen to music that way. The other thing what you can do, again, nobody offers this um, out there, is if your customers are willing to pay $60, they can pre-select their room in resort. So you'll go online, you put the booking reference in, and $60, they can pick their room. 
Um, this will all depend on obviously what room type they have booked. It will bring up um, uh, basically the room categories and it will tell you where them rooms are located within the resort and it's $60 to do that. Okay, uh, bottom right hand corner there is again last month is our swim up rooms. And again, it's just a sneak peek of what that would look like uh, in resort once it's all open. Star class. So this is our upgrade. So what star class does is give your customers a VIP access all areas. Okay, so they'll have their own personalized um, check in and check out service. They will have um, a personalized rider with bar labels and in-room snacks. So they will get to choose what liquor they would want in their rooms. And they can obviously top this up as many times as they want. We have personal agent, which is uh, another word for butler service. So if they do upgrade to star class, they will get a butler um, who will obviously be there to help with any needs whatsoever. You get a preferred room location. Complimentary access to the hydro uh, therapy pool. Um, you get a pillow menu uh, and uh, much more as well there for you. We've already covered the beds already. Uh, Sleep Famously is, is uh, the slogan we're using for our fabulous beds. Like I say, they are incredible. So room categories. So if you book the PH uh, class, you can have a junior suite. You can have a junior swim out room. You can have the entourage suites. The director's one bedroom suite and the director's two bedroom suite. Whereas if your customers upgrade to the star class, they get access to every room type possible we offer. Up to three bedroom suites as well is available. 24 hour room service. Um, you can order your room service off the TV. Have your own private balcony. Again, the soundtrack we've already covered and all your Wi-Fi, et cetera, is covered as well with your PH mobile app. Um, also as well, you get the PH TV, which is all your satellite TV with all the latest movies uh, and Netflix, things like that on there as well. Um, again, junior suites, entourage suites, director suites and producer suites. It's just a breakdown there um, of what the rooms consist of. So your junior suites are one king or two queen beds. You enter our suites, you can do a, a queen size bed, sorry, king size bed even, including a double sofa bed. Um, you've got the director's suites, which has got the jacuzzi tub, um, and you can have um, two king size rooms, two king size beds in there. Um, or you can have the producer's suites, which again is up to your three bedroom suites in them ones. Just an overview of what each room looks like. as a standard and how we, they would look in resort. Crave, so this is, Crave is a burger joint. So Crave is where um, I've been told in the US, it's one of the best burgers you will ever eat. Um, obviously being the UK, I'm not sure that's true, but uh, if that's what they say, we'll go with that. But you've got a choice of 11 restaurants, 10 a la carte, one internationally buffet. We've even got the um, Guy Fryer's burger joint as well. So you've got the SoCal uh, Garmin, you've got the East Suchet and the Tipinyaki Bar, Sunset Strip uh, Steakhouse, you've got the Mexican Cuisine, you've got Gusto Italian, you've got the Sutra Indian Restaurant, Overtime Sports Bar, where you can, again, you can get burgers and hot dogs, that kind of thing. And you've got Guy's Burger Joint. The Shores Beach Club and Restaurant, and then if you have um, a large group and you want your own private chef, you can pay for that in resort, it's six cents. Uh, and again, just an overview of what the restaurants look like in resort. And yes, the Gusto Italian bar does overlook the amazing Lazy River we have going around um, the resort. Bars, uh, we have nine bars. Uh, you've got your overtime sports bar, premier bar, twist social bar, point break, fuel coffee. You've got studio disco bar, blue lagoon, lazy river grotto bar. Yes, we do have halfway around the uh, lazy river. 
we've got a grotto bar. So you can stop, have a couple of drinks, and then carry on going around the Laser River once you're halfway around. How amazing is that? We've got the Blue Crush Bar, and then we've got the Star Clash Bars as well. Fit. So we do have a, a PH Spa, which is a world-class spa. We also have our Pumped Fitness Center. Our fitness center has all the latest gadgets in there and all the latest equipment. Um, and also, if you want to set up with a personal instructor there, a fitness regime, you can do that as well locally. Um, you have to just pay that locally. I'm not sure of the cost at this stage, but I can find that out for you. But that's something we can do. And obviously, with regards to any kind of spa treatments, again, it's all payable locally. Experiences. So we've got kids clubs. So this is from the age of four to 12. And again, it's all supervised, uh, loads of activities, themes, competitions, uh, you do weekly dancing and things like that, uh, and awards as well for the children. We have a teen club, which is from the age of 13 to 17. Again, we've got pool tables in there. Uh, we've got air hockey, um, even computer consoles. And in our Planet Play, we've got our own trampoline park. We've also got a nine hole mini golf course. Uh, we've got basketball courts. And we've got an arcade room as well. Um, we've got a theatre, so we've even got our own um, movie theatre, which can hold up to 76 people at once. And again, you've got classic films there, fan favourites, and also the latest films being shown in there. And again, we've got the mini golf, uh, nine hole mini golf course there as well. We have um, Labyrinth, which is um, a maze. It's a massive, massive maze uh, for the children. We've got a lazy river, um, which goes all the way around the resort, which I've already mentioned. There is a bar halfway round. We've got the Jurassic Splash Park, which is on your left and bottom side of the picture there. We've got our Shipwreck Cove, which again is another splash park, which is on the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. So it's a more of a, um, a Captain Jack Sparrow uh, pirate themed uh, splash park. And we've also got a flow rider as well. So even the big kids, I mean, the adults uh, can have a go on the flow rider if they're willing to, uh, to brave it. Weddings. So we offer weddings in Planet Hollywood. Um, again, with so many different weddings, you can either contact me or uh, go direct to Planet Hollywood Cancun. Um, so again, just let me know if that's the case from traditional weddings. We also offer the Bollywood uh, Indian themed weddings as well and again I think I'm going to put my neck on the line here I think we're the only company who offers this kind of wedding as a Bollywood style as well. Extras so we have our Planet Hollywood store where we've got Hollywood memorabilia so you can go in there and buy certain things uh, we've got poolside cabanas which you can rent out in resort again that's payable locally and excursions again you can book these locally in resort as well uh, nice and easy and there's plenty to see obviously in Cancun itself. Adult scene. So adult scene is our um, adults only segregated part of the hotel. Okay so this is for 18 and above so you'll have your own private beach area, you'll have your own private pool area, you've got your own personalized check-in and check-out service. Um, again you've got your own restaurants within um, within the adult scene area with your own entertainment. The beauty of staying in the adult scene is that you get to use the full facilities in Planet Hollywood as well. So it's almost a two for one hotel. Save our planet. So we are very proud to tell. So we do have solar energy and we've got uh, on-site composting and recycle programs. Um, and this is obviously to protect the carbon footprint to a minimum. Okay, so we've got reusable keyless uh, bracelets, which is also your, um, your key for your room, which looks something like this. Okay, we've also got energy efficient lighting, air conditioning and other appliances. Uh, we've got the low flow toilet and shower heads. Uh, we've eliminated all plastic water bottles and straws, and we've also got eco-friendly uh, Vero water purified system. Um, we're also uh, looking after the local 
local community by the use of foods from um, and support to the farmers and donating uh, surplus food as well back to the farmers for livestock. Um, and we're also offering volunteerism opportunities for all our guests as well. Plugged in. Uh, so again, you've got the PH mobile app. You can download this before um, you go, or you can download it obviously with your free Wi-Fi out in resort. Um, this will give you maps around the hotel. And like I say, it will give you all the, uh, the music for, for whatever themed music you choose. Um, the Wi-Fi, as I've already mentioned and covered, and the PHTV also as well with the Blockbuster videos, uh, Blockbuster, sorry, films uh, and attractions, etc. as well. So that's Planet Hollywood for you in Cancun, Costa Mejeras. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's very exciting. I can't wait, obviously, to promote this hotel even more and see it personally myself. Um, but I just want to finish off talking about the planethollywoodrewards.co.uk. Again, this is just for UK agents only. So if you make any Planet Hollywood bookings, you need to sign up to planethollywoodrewards.co.uk and you can claim up to £20 per booking. Lastly, I just want to finish off with a short video just to give you uh, an idea of what it's going to be like once you are in resort. Do me a favor, can you ask the guy to stop the lawnmower? <laughs> Got a lawnmower in the background. Um, thank you, Luke. That was amazing. Um, you know, great to no see problems. a hotel that's really open. And um, we've got a couple of questions that have come through in chat. So if you can go through while um, I hand over to yes, Conrad and his lawnmower um, to tell us all about <laughs> the amazing Calabash Cove in St. Lucia. Classic, hey, Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, again. Are we going to do the video at the end? Do you want to do it at the beginning or the end? You decide. It's your, your stage. Uh, run the video first. Okay, I'm going to play the video. Unless it's too much trouble. No, let's do the video first. Okay, we're going to transport you to Calabash Cove. Is it working? On and off. All right, sketch again.
Conrad, what a beauty. <laughs> Thank you for showing the video first. I, I had a feeling we had to change the, the speed a little bit here because I think you're throwing me to the sharks by showing these other two hotels before. We are, we are obviously the extreme opposite of, um, of the other two presentations. And it reminds me a little bit of my previous life when I worked for a very large Caribbean all-inclusive uh, hotel company before becoming self-employed and, and building, building our own place. But Calabash Cove is only 26 uh, suites and junior suites in total. We are adults only. And we are, as you saw, located in a, in a very quaint, secluded cove. Um, we are probably the different all-inclusive. Um, initially, when we opened up, I wanted a hotel that, um, that I would want to visit. We could come for a cup of coffee, watch the sun Eve again. But of course, the trade as such Immediate want, immediately wanted an all-inclusive option. And my, my hundreds and thousands of friends in the travel trade would say, Conrad, can you quote that all-inclusive also? And so from day one, we really had a, an option of booking a room with breakfast. Breakfast was always included or booking an all-inclusive. And uh, we didn't really want any, any surcharges. We wanted an all-inclusive the way it was 30 years ago when things were all included, when you walked into the hotel, it was really sort of a, a relaxing um, experience. So we named our, our all-inclusive unconditional all-inclusive. There are no surcharges. There's no, uh, no reservation fees. There's during lobster season, there's a lobster special daily on the menu that is part of the all-inclusive. There's no uh, surcharge for room service and there's no push to sell uh, any additional uh, wines or anything else. We include, I think it's 24 wines by the bottle with the wine, with the wine uh, from the wine list with, uh, with breakfast, lunch or dinner. If somebody wants a bottle of Prosecco for breakfast, they can certainly have that too. And so um, that was always our philosophy. In terms of the accommodations, uh, every one of our 26 uh, units has, has clear, unobstructed ocean view. There's no arguing about leaning over the balcony to see the, the Caribbean or not. There are three simple categories. Uh, the entry-level Sunset Ocean View Junior Suites. Then we have uh, four swim-ups that you saw, four swim -up Junior Suites. They also have ocean view. And then obviously we have our, our water's edge cottages right on the waterfront with the private pool where there's nothing in front of you. There's nobody walking in front of you. There's no fence in front of you. There's no jet ski running in front of you. It's just you and the Caribbean if you're staying in one of these. And we have guests that are sometimes say they sleep on the patio in the day bed there because they like to hear the ocean. Um, all the, the rooms come with, uh, with very similar amenities. All of them have a double vanity, a rain shower, a jacuzzi that fits two people, free Wi-Fi, um, cable TV, flat screen cable TV, uh, a bar, and, um, and as I said already, of course, ocean view. Um, I would like to talk, talk a little bit about uh, COVID. Everybody's trying to avoid it, but uh, St. Lucia has, has created what is probably the, the gold standard for how to treat with this thing and uh, is, is in many places quoted as the example. To this day, St. Lucia has recorded no fatality and uh, obviously we had no, uh, no spread of visitors to, to employees anywhere else. But that comes with certain rules. There's a government website and also on the Calabash Cove website, there's the, the requirement is there. Uh, St. Lucia insists on a PCR test that is no older than seven days, but uh, um, but once you're in the resort, there are very little restrictions. The, the government asks that people when moving about in public areas wear a mask, but obviously not on the beach in restaurants and so on. And um, for me, it's important that we say this because we want to keep it extremely safe now and in the weeks to come should this thing be around for the winter. We also, maybe the only country that has a dedicated hospital that will deal with cases like that if there are anybody, if there's anybody that needs to go to the respiratory hospital and they could go there. Um, the same thing with excursions. 
the excursions are highly regulated. People can go on, on, um, on board rides and tours, diving, snorkeling. They can visit certain attractions by, by pre-arrangement, um, make, making a reservation basically before you go there so they know you're coming. And the, the larger hotels basically have their board rides for their guests only. In our case, because we're, we're more of an individual place anyway, most of our guests, even under normal circumstances, are not very keen on going with 100 people on a boat. So they can either go do their own thing, a, a sunset cruise, a day trip, or a boat ride for two people, or if three or four of them want to get together, they can obviously take that boat and share it amongst themselves. But uh, at this stage, hotels are not allowed to mingle with guests from other hotels. Uh, you can, however, have split stays. I mean, St. Lucia, because of the diverse product, has a fair amount of guests that, that split up their stay. So you will be able to stay for part of vacation in the south and part of vacation in the north of the island. Uh, and, and every day, the, the regulations become a little more relaxed. More attractions become available. More restaurants are opening up. For example, we now have two local restaurants that are open to guests. If we have guests here that booked room with breakfast, they have now certain days a week, two um, restaurants that they can go out to for dinner. And I think it's gonna be more, more every, every week now. The same thing with the villas that St. Lucia opens up. But uh, it, there's, a, there's a real move to open up in an extremely responsible manner. I know there are destinations, I don't wanna say them now, they don't have any, any restrictions, you come and go, but they also have a, a fair amount of challenges with their, their cases. St. Lucia is one of not so many people that is not on any kind of watch list in the UK, for example. You can come here freely and go back and be, um, be amongst the local population again. Uh, in terms of the other part of the product, we, we have uh, limited non-motorized water sports, you know, kayaks, paddle boards, snorkeling that's available. Because we are small, people can, if they don't bring their own snorkeling gear, because right now folks are reluctant to use somebody else's snorkeling equipment, but if they do use ours, then um, they can keep it for the week or the two or the three weeks they stay with us. And then when they go back, they return it again. Um, it's, it's so that we, we probably practiced distancing before this whole um, COVID-19 case. There's so much space in the hotel that it was from day one very easy to get away from everybody. So now with, with the new regulations, by removing some of the 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 restaurant tables, for example, to allow for the spacing and so on, it is just more regularized. But it was always so that uh, I firmly believed in, it's not just gold and silver and 100 things crammed into, into a week, but also the ability to do nothing, to have space, to have uh, team members, employees that have time for a conversation, because there's so many of them um, that represent luxury. And I think that is our approach for the, for the days and weeks forward, especially in the UK, in the US where, where, as we all know, the population is much more tested as a, a keen effort by the government to ensure that there's no spread between the two. Um, we opened on the, well, St. Lucia opened in July. We opened uh, on the 5th of October and uh, we're obviously following all the rules there are now to maintain uh, our status of being a certified open resort in St. Lucia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, comrade. That was amazing. And we could see the birds and we can hear them behind you. It's like, it's, it's incredible. And you're there and you're so, so lucky. Um, and no, I think um, in terms of, yes, we get the bigger hotels to start with, but I think the agents that are on the call anyway today, they understand the small and friendly aspect and the, the, the sort of a different part of luxury. And this is why it's important for us all. You know, there is, there is such a, a, a vast array of hotels and it's about, at the end of the day, finding the right hotel for the right client. So, um, yeah, you've got a beautiful hotel, so thank you very, very much. Um, okay, we did have a couple of questions, but the team have been answering them while um, during the day. But there's a couple that I've picked out um, that that's, I think is sort of applicable. Um, so, for example, Karen's asked Claire from the Moon Palace, um, are the swimsuits permitted for any age? Um, so, Claire, what, what would you answer to that? The swim-up suites. 
Yes, no, they, they are. But I, you know, I did say when I answered it, I wouldn't fancy, I wouldn't fancy booking one if I had a toddler who couldn't swim. Yeah, no, <laughs> You'd be constantly running around after them, or they'd just be living in their armbands, wouldn't they? Yeah, exactly. no, they are. There is, yeah, there is no age res restriction though. So, brilliant. Um, the next question that we had, which again is a really common question at the moment, um, which is about the masks required in the common areas. Um, what would you say to that? Yeah, um, they are they are required in the common areas. Um, so not um, you don't have to wear them on the beach. But if you're moving around the resort or you're inside, um, then you you do need to wear them. Okay, perfect. Um, Luke and um, Karen also asked the same question about the summit rooms. To you, is there a minimum age? No, no, no minimum age. Exactly the same reason is what Claire's just said. Okay, perfect. Um, Here we go. Um, okay, I think that's good because I think any, anything else, if anybody's got any specific questions, um, I'm going to email everybody anyway with the recording of the webinar. Um, what I would like to do is, um, I know we've agreed that we're going to do the spin to win um, and we will do that. I'll do that tomorrow. But what I thought was just, just to show you've all been listening, um, I thought that if we still ask the same question um, and the first person with the fastest finger, I'll put them into the spin to win 10 times. So they've got a much better oh. of winning so if everybody agrees um let's go for it so um so luke um first of all give us your question and remember it's fastest finger first change your chat it's on the chat option right at the bottom of your screen change it to all panelists and attendees and the first person with the correct answer i will enter them into the spin to win 10 times tomorrow so you've got a much better chance of winning the prize so luke what's your question my question is, Planet Hollywood Cancun is in the resort of Costa Mujeres. What does that translate to? Um, you've got to say it properly. <laughs> you hear this. So hang on. So we've got, um, we've got woman, woman, girl, ladies, woman, coast, uh, coast <laughs> women. That's about the first. Oh. That's about the, the first correct answer. Yeah. Chrissy. Good woman. Okay, you're going to get entered 10 times. So, well done, Chrissy. So, yes, it means the coast of women. So, um, Claire. Yes. Moon Palace. So, give us your question. Okay. What is the maximum occupancy for a family deluxe suite? Oh, look, you see, they just didn't <laughs> finish. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're listening. Lovely. So hang on, I'm trying to scroll back up now to find the correct answer. Uh, no, wow. Okay, so I have got so it's six. Is that the correct answer? Yes, it is, yes. Hey Ushma, you're going into the draw for ten times tomorrow. Okay, and last but not least, comrades. So this is open to every agent. So North American agents, get fastest fingers going because you need to win this. So comrades, now, what's your question. Now this is a little tricky because I didn't realize you were going to do this, so I didn't focus on it in particular in my presentation. But we're going to try if anybody caught it anyway, um, because we have our are all inclusive without restrictions. <laughs> we, we have a very specific name for it. What do we call all inclusive? Mm. Oh, like somebody got it, yeah. Okay, so what's it called? Unconditional all inclusive. Kiki, you was the first person to get it right. <laughs> so you'll be ending. Lawnmower. Um, and yeah, David, I love yours. Lawnmower. Perfect. <laughs> Brilliant. I didn't realize the microphone was on, man. <laughs> it's a typical web based one. Um, okay, so um, if I can just yeah. check everybody as well that they're all signed up to my Caribbean and um, you can log every single Caribbean booking. I know an agency emailed messaged me on here and said that a hotel's not loaded. No worries, I'll load it. If you've got any issues or any hotels not loaded, just send me an email and I will get them loaded on for you. 
Um, and I would just like to really thank um, all of the hosts because this has been a really fun, um, really sort of interactive and very, very informative webinar. So thank you. Thank you for your amazing prizes. Um, you know, it does mean a lot to us to spend time coming out to see us and especially a comrade with this gorgeous view behind you. Lucky. Um, yeah, it's raining here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's... But no, thank you guys. We know without you, um, these are not possible. So thank you very much. And also to the agents um, that are making all of these bookings for these guys. We do appreciate it. Um, keep doing what you're doing mm -hmm. and keep loving your bookings. And um, we'll see you next week. Next week, uh, we've got another live. It's going to be um, a complete live from St. Lucia. So I'll send you all the joining details and we'll see you next week on the Caribbean corner. So thank you. And thank you, everybody. Bye for now. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.